everybody, welcome back to my kitchen and day three of our Marching In With Casseroles. If you haven't already seen, we have six collaborators, other YouTube collaborators who are doing this with me along with Mama Vera. She's going to put in a couple and we may do one together. Um, you should have seen on Wednesday, Miss Lori from Whippoorwill Holler. She did a farmer's casserole. That was amazing. It looks delicious. Actually, it's probably what I'm going to be making this weekend. Today, I'm going to do a sloppy joe casserole with tater tots and cheese on top. So we're gonna get started. I've already got two and a half, two and a half to three pounds of ground chuck going here on the stove. I'm gonna add into it. We're gonna do use about a cup a, of a cup, cup and a half of peppers and onions. I had a frozen mix that I'm trying to get rid of in the freezer because there's really nothing fresh this time of the year. So I'm gonna utilize that and get those out of the way. So we're gonna put those in. <coughs> And just saute them just a little bit. They're going to cook more in the oven, so they will soften more because after we get this all cooked, we're going to put it in the oven. Okay, I also have one can of tomato paste. I have two cloves of garlic that's minced really fine. I use a cup and a half of chicken stock. You can use water if you don't have chicken stock. I've got four tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of molasses I'm going to be using, two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, in this one, I have a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. I have a teaspoon of ground pepper. I have a teaspoon of papri smoked paprika. And this one, I have a half teaspoon of celery seed. And I do have about half teaspoon to a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And then I also have one can of green chili peppers that I like to put in. These are mild. You can use spicy if you like. I'm gonna put everything down below. All of the ingredients are going to be down below in the comment section. If you're watching this on your TV and you can't go down below to see it on YouTube, you can go to your computer or your iPad and just look at my website. Right here it is, it's greggs-kitchen.com. I'll put it all on there also. So, I've got the ground chuck done. I did drain it before I came on and so it's already drained of all the fat. It wasn't a whole lot, but it's really nice and lean. So I'm going to put the tomato paste in now. You want to put the tomato paste in and let some of the tomato thickness cook out of it. And also it's going to brown a little bit on the bottom. That's going to give it more flavor. So just let that cook for just a few minutes here. Also, I've got a cup and a half to, well, I might have two cups of cheese here. You never can have too much cheese. Now we're going to put between the tater tots on, on top of the meat and on top of the tater tots themselves. Okay, so now this is cooked pretty well. We're gonna add in the chicken stock. I got a cup and a half, like I said. Put this in, this is what's gonna help mix all the other ingredients. I've got a quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm not sure if I mentioned that a little bit ago. Got all of my dried spices. In both little containers. I got the minced garlic. I don't put the minced garlic in and cook it with the meat because I'm afraid it'll burn if there's any oil in there. So I wait till I put in the tomato sauce. If you like garlic, you can use a little bit more. I love garlic, so I may have a little bit extra in there. And the sugar. We're just putting all this in so it can cook together and get the flavors married together. So there's about two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar and two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Here we go. Now, if you don't want to go to the trouble of all of this, you can use a large can of mayo, which no one's going to judge you. I've done it in the past, but this is one of my recipe that I use for my drunken sloppy joes, which I either add vodka or whiskey in. You can find that on my website. And so I'm just kind of converting it over to this recipe. I think the flavors are much better than the manwich. I mean, I grew up with manwich. Everybody did. We're used to that flavor for Sloppy Joe's, but this is gonna be more of an adult version, more flavor. So let's get all this mixed in together. Let's make sure everything's coated, the sugars are dissolved. And we're gonna let this cook for two or three minutes. I just want everything to heat thoroughly and get the flavors throughout here. Last thing I'm gonna put in is the cream chilies. You don't have to put those in. 
I just like the extra flavor that it imparts into it. We already have the green peppers, the red peppers, and the onions, but you can really never have too much flavor because I'm making a little bit of a mess here. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook two or three minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've got my sloppy joe mixture. It's cooked for about two to three minutes. It's all combined. Um, I turned off the heat. I'm letting it sit. I just want to remind everybody that we have six uh, different channels. We have what you saw on Wednesday, Miss Lori from Whipper Will Holler. This coming Monday, we have Rachel from that 1870s homestead. We have Karen from In the Kitchen with Karen. Jenny Goff's going to be with us from her YouTube channel. Tanji from Freedom Homestead and Wanda from Crazy Daisies. They're all contributing from their channels. And also got Mama Vera, my mom, who's gonna be contributing here on my channel. So remember, you have to go to each one of their channels. I highly uh, suggest that you subscribe to their channels and ring the bell. That way when they post their video, you'll see it. Because what you wanna do is go to each one of the videos throughout the month. We have one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Put a comment in, just say hi, looks great. Just tell us something on, in a comment. At the end of the month, on the 31st, I'm going to pick one of the dates of the cash rolls that everyone did, and then we'll do the random comment picker, and we'll pick one comment from that page. So if you just put your comment on one person's video, you don't have a chance if we pick one of the other videos. So make sure you go to their pages. They're all great content creators. I love them all. That's why I ask them to be a part of this with me. So make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, comment, and throw in a like. It always does help everybody's channel. So, now that we've got the Sloppy Joe's done, I'm going to put it in my casserole dish. You can use an eight by 13. You can use a large round cast iron skillet. If you cook this in your cast iron skillet, you can use this about anything. One thing that I like to do is if there's only gonna be one or two of you, you can also break this down into two smaller casseroles. I've done that many times. I'll make one small, like in a nine by nine or an eight by eight casserole dish and then I'll make another one separate, an aluminum one, with and put everything in there, put it, aluminum foil over it, seal it real good, put it in the freezer, you've got a quick dinner, all you gotta do is pull it out, thaw it, and it's ready to go. So, now that I got this, this in here, we're going to take about half of our cheese, and we're gonna sprinkle it on top, and this is gonna be kinda of like the glue that anchors the tater tots to the top here. Your kids are gonna love this, because, well, even adults, we all love tater tots. Now, I'm sure you've seen people on Pinterest and their websites everywhere going through and lining these all up nice and pretty like this. This is sloppy joe. I want the tater tots to be sloppy too. You don't have to be fancy with these. If you want to take the time to do that, by all means, go ahead and do it. I don't. I just put all the tater tots on top. We're going to dip it out. Nothing's going to be symmetric when you pull it out anyways. So, using about two thirds of a bag of tater tots, this is a 32 ounce bag. They also have flavored ones with different spices on Those are really good too. I, I didn't think about getting those. This would be good, really good to put on here. So, we got just about covered here. We're going to take the rest of our cheese and add it to the top. I've got the oven already preheated. It's at 450 degrees. We're gonna cook this 35 to 40 minutes. All right, Sloppy Joe's already done. All we're doing is cooking and melting the cheese and cooking the tater tots for it. Now we're gonna add more cheese to the top, which is gonna just bring all of this together. It's gonna to be just like a Sloppy Joe sandwich, except instead of bread, we have tater tots. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. It's gonna cook for about 25 to 30 minutes, like I said and I'll be back to show you what we got when we're done. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, I thought I'd jump in real quick before I get the casserole out of the oven. It should be done shortly. Um, I know I told you guys to go to everybody's um, channels, subscribe, ring the bell, make a comment and we'll be doing the drawing within a month. I don't think I told you what we're doing the drawing for. We're doing a three-piece casserole set. 
put your C here, and we're also doing a double carrier, casserole carrier that you can utilize when you go to your friends, your family, church picnic, whatever you like. So make sure you go to all their channels, Whipper Will Holler, 1870s Homestead, In the Kitchen with Karen, Jenny Goffs, Freedom Homestead, and Crazy Days. They're all listed below. They're also all on my website, craigs-kitchen.com. There's a link right on the front page. Hold on, our casserole's done. Let me get that out while we're here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay, let that cool off for a second and I'll finish. Um, go to all of their um, YouTube channels. Um, I suggest you subscribe to all of them because you're going to love watching all these. I, I watch them all. I come home on evenings sometimes and just sit there and scroll through those. Those are my main ones that I've subscribed to. You're going to love all of them. So I think Wednesday, we just, this past Wednesday, we just had Miss Lori from Wilpero Holler do her casserole, a farmer's casserole. I believe Monday is Rachel from that 1870s homestead. She said she was going to be doing an enchilada casserole. Um, not sure the others. I think Crazy Days is that you're going to see later on in a week or so. She's doing a sweet potato casserole. We've got an Irish casserole on the 17th. Mama Vera did an egg, I think she said she's doing an egg souffle. We have some wonderful casseroles. So you don't want to miss any of them. And let's get back to this one. I'm going to get a big spoon out here. And let's dish some of this up. You can see all the sauce is just bubbled up around it, the cheese is melted, the tater tots are nice and brown. Get some out here. There we go. Whew, that cheese is nice and melted. So, put my napkin, clean it up for you a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Nice and melted cheese, the brown tater tots. This smells delicious. I'm gonna get a spoon here and try it. As usual, I'm going to burn my face because it just came out of a 450 degree oven. Mm, wow, just like eating a sloppy Joe sandwich without the bun. Those flavors are amazing. Like I said, you can use a uh, sloppy joe mix uh, man which any you know a generic one in the hospital or the uh, store brand whatever you you like i just like this it imparts more flavor i know what i'm putting in it i'm not putting in all that extra sodium all those chemicals and preservatives give this a try don't forget we got another uh, video coming on monday from that 1870s homestead and i'll see you again thank you for joining me in my kitchen